All right, throughout this lesson, uh, we're going to learn uh, how to convert from standard form to scientific notation, and then from scientific notation back to standard form. So first thing I want you to do, you're going to create this foldable, kind of, that I've created this little book. And really, I'm going to take it back. There's only two folds. So you, if you have your piece of paper, you're only going to make two folds again. You're going to do hamburger fold, just like that. And then I'm going to turn it. Yeah, and then I'm just going to make one more fold, and now I have my book. Um, so it's pretty simple just to make this book, um, and that way you'll be able to, on the back side, be able to glue it into your notebook and have another resource as we go through. Um, so once you do this, the first thing I want you to do is you'll write your essential question on the cover. You can decorate it however you see fit. Um, but how do you convert from standard form to scientific notation and then from scientific notation ba back to standard form? Now, you're going to open it up and you see you have two different columns. And as our group, we go through these examples here in just a second, um, you'll just see a list. This is where you'll put your notes. So. First thing I want to look at, for example, what is scientific notation? Well, scientific notation is the fact of taking either this gigantuous number or this really, really, really small number um, and making it where you, where you can write it very easily on a piece of paper. Um, instead of writing basically, you know, 27 and then having 50 zeros, um, I could have it and I'd write it and make it much, much smaller looking. So first, I want to look at, for example, if I have, say, I'm going to make this big number. I'm going to say 32. Let's just go with 32 million. Well, that's not a great, great big number. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. But what I do, I want to be able to write this in scientific notation. Well, some things I need to know about scientific notation. One thing I need to know is it's always going to be greater than one, or at least one greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10. So I know the number that I put in is going to be greater, greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. And then it's always going to be times 10 to some exponent. Well, how do I know uh, what to put? I'm just going to simply count spaces. If I want to put this in scientific notation, I see my decimals at the end, so I'm just going to count spaces back. Again, I said I had to put it in between 1 and 10. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to start here. I'm going to count my spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I know I had to count 7 spots to get it back. So I'm going to put my 7 here because that's all that means is 7 spots to get it between 1 and 10. And now I've just uh, made the decimal of uh, 3.2. Now I have 3.2 times 10 to the seventh power. This number is the exact same thing as this, except it's written uh, in scientific notation. Now, what if I'm given um, a really, really, really small number? Well, let's look at that. And what if I'm given, say, 0. Now, this way, um, I notice it, instead of it being a gigantic number, which when it is the gigantic number, you're going to have a positive exponent. Now, that I have a really, really small number, I've got to move the decimal to the right this time to put it in scientific notation. Well, same principle. All I have to do is count the spots. So I'm going to count. Starting here, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Remember, I have to get it between 1 and 10. So now I know it's going to be 4 times 10 to some exponent. Well, I moved it 6 spots, but it's really, really small number. So in this case, it's going to be to the negative 6 power. I took a really small number and put it in scientific notation, negative exponent. When I have a really big number and I'm putting in scientific notation, I'm going to have a positive exponent. Now, what happens if I have, I'm given scientific notation, but I need to put it in standard form? Well, let's look at it.
what if I'm given 4.8 times 10 to the, say, fourth power? Well, now, I have 4.8 times 10 to the fourth, and I need to find out what this is in standard form. All I'm going to do is work backwards from what I did before. Remember, really, really big number, positive exponent. So I know that positive exponent, this is going to be a big number. So I'm going to take the 4.8, and I'm going to move that decimal over four places, because this represents how many spots the decimal had to move. So one, two, three, and four. So then I'm going to go back and just fill zeros in for my spots. So I have 48,000. So instead of saying 48,000, it was 4.8 times 10 to the fourth. Again, I just did the opposite than what I did before. Now, if I'm given um, a negative, so let's say I'm given oh, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 7. So now I know negative, this right here, this tells me it's going to be a really, really small number because it is a negative. So I'm going to take my 6.5 again and I'm just going to count the spots back because I know it's got to be a small number. 7 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and seven. Put my decimal and then I'm going to go back in and fill in zeros. So now I have this really really small number of point zero 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 six five. Again, negative exponent, really small number. Positive exponent, really big number. And that's the process in being able to, to uh, change standard form to scientific notation and then scientific notation back to standard. Now I'm going to show you one other thing and this is kind of the, the cheap way but I am going to show it to you because in case you know, for checking your work and that kind of thing I am going to show you a calculator and the cool thing about a calculator. I love it. All right, So if I want to take, say I have something um, scientific notation and I need to move it back and I just I want to make sure hey am I right did I do this right well I'm gonna use the same one I did here I'm gonna say it's 4.8 now in order to get the times 10 on the calculator you have to push the second button and you go right here it's the comma but it's that EE -E, and you'll see E and that, all that means is times 10 to the and then I fill in my number this is saying the exact same thing as this and I got 48,000 and when I did it uh, by moving the decimal, I got 48,000. Now, here's something that's interesting. If I go 6.5, again, second, E, but then I put negative 7. Yes, it didn't do anything. It didn't put it in standard form for me. Here's where you can't rely on the calculator all the time, because in the negatives, you've got to be able to understand to move that decimal back seven spots to make it that really small number. But that's just a quick way to check what you're doing. Um, but uh, and just be ready to discuss this in class. And, uh, and if you have any questions, make sure you write it. One thing I want you to do and is to write a short summary of what is something you've learned from this. Um, I want you to answer, okay, how do you uh, transform a number from standard form to scientific notation? And answer how to turn scientific notation back to standard form.